What is love? There are many ways of thinking about love. A neuroscientist might say that love is essentially a set of reactions taking place in the brain, involving chemicals like dopamine and serotonin. A biologist, on the other hand, might say that love is a drive, much like hunger or thirst. And a psychologist might argue that love is a cognitive phenomenon, involving components like intimacy, commitment and passion. Now, none of these views are wrong, but what they all have in common is the view that love is ultimately a feeling or a sentiment, something almost mysterious that we experience often and often beyond our control. But the theory of love that I like the most was formulated by the psychologist Eric Fromm. In his book, The Art of Loving, Fromm argued that the feeling of love was superficial in comparison to one's commitment to love through a series of loving actions over time. In other words, love isn't just something that happens. It's a decision, a commitment and something active. Love is something we do rather than just feel. So how should we do love? From believed there were four key activities that are necessary for loving. The first was care. You must be caring and labour for those you love. The second was being responsible, which means that you're willing to voluntarily act in the interests of those you love. The third was respect, allowing those you love to grow and unfold as they are. And finally, you must have knowledge of those you love. To respect someone is impossible without knowing them. Care and responsibility would be blind if it weren't motivated by concern for others. So what is love? In the words of Fromm, love is simply the act of giving.